This is our DM3 Mac mechanical hot tapping machine. And the purpose of this machine is to enable a contractor to be able to drill through a pressurized line without having to shut down the line and be able to add a branch system on. This is the assembly that a contractor would in, uh, include on his own. He would need a saddle that would match the size of pipe that he's working with, a shutoff valve to be able to shut off the pressure, a nipple that's gonna bring you up to a branch T with also a bleeder valve to be able to bleed off the top session. And then our tool will connect up to here and will give him the capability to be able to drill through this system while this is a live feed line here, pull it back and then disassemble this and take it apart and hook up his own connections from that point on. The components that we have included in our system here is we have two different boring bars. We have an assortment of the hole saws, seven different sizes. We have the main uh, assembly, which encompasses the gland nut, the bushing, and then we have a packing on the inside of here. The packing, what that enables it to do is to slide your boring bar through here so that you can increase pressure on here that prevents leaks as we're drilling through the system. Okay, now we're gonna insert the drill bit into our boring bar. We wanna make sure that our set screw locks down on the flat side. And then we incorporate this in through our fitting here. We'll pull this all the way back. We need to make sure that our valve is open so that this will be able to slide through. We will attach this onto it. Then we will slide our boring bar and make sure we have enough slide in here and so that it touches down to the pipe. We'll attach the drill onto it. Tighten it down. And now we're ready to drill through. We want to make sure our bleeder valve is shut off. This could be either a hot water, a cold water, or a steam line. Steam line would be a pressure up to 125 PSI. The hot and cold water would be up to 300 PSI. So we have the capability for getting uh, burned if we leave this open. We can also put on here a drain hose to direct the flow away from somebody so that they don't get hurt. Now we'll be ready to drill. Okay, we've broken through. Now we retract our boring bar and we're going to shut off the flow. Now this is still going to be pressurized in through here. So what we need to do is be able to bleed this off so we can take this apart. We just open up this valve and that will bleed this section right here, relieve the pressure on it. Now this is non-pressurized so we can take this apart without getting hurt. Now we have a pilot hole drilled in there, but what we want to do is we want to take a 5 8 hole out of there. So we remove the pilot bit. We are going to thread on the hole saw. And now to be able to remove that coupon so the coupon doesn't flow down in the pipe and clog a system somewhere, we're gonna use a coupon retainer which is split in the middle. So when it goes into the hole, it will spread apart and wedge itself into that little coupon. Okay, again, we have a flat side that we wanna secure that with our set screw. Now you need to make sure that the coupon retainer sticks out far enough from the edge of the hole saw so that it can penetrate into the pipe and still retain the coupon. Now we're gonna reassemble this. We pull our boring bar all the way back. Feed our threaded body into the T-valve. Now we wanna make sure our bleeder valve is closed. Now this system is pressurized. We need to pressurize this so that we can get our hole saw down through the valve here. So we're gonna open this up. That will pressurize this line up to here. And we feed our boring bar down to the pipe. We'll reattach our drill.
and drill a hole. Okay, we are through. We retract our boring bar. We need to close our valve after we retract the boring bar past the valve. So we'll close that valve off. Now this section here is still pressurized. So again, we need to bleed this before we take it apart. So we'll open up this valve and bleed it out through here. Now this is non-pressurized, this top section, so we'll be able to dismantle this. Take off the threaded body. We can see we have our coupon retainer. We have our coupon inside the hole saw and our hole saw. At this point, the contractor's job is finished. He is able to remove the nipple and his T-fitting here and then make his connection from this point on. Thank you.